Okay, so the first thing when I walk into this house, first thing I notice is you, you've got a sprinkler system, which is great. Uh, to the fire inspector, to the fire response group, that brings our hazard concern way down. In each sprinkler head, there's a frangible bulb or a fusible link that has very specific temperature at which it pops and then allows the water to spray out. Unlike uh, how Hollywood would have you believe, not all the heads go off, just the one that uh, is receiving the heat buildup at the time. In the nomenclature of fire extinguishers, this is a, uh, considered to be a 1A10BC, so it's kind of the minimal size. It's, it's what you'd find typically in a residential structure like this. Pressure should always remain in the green uh, at the top there. I think the most important thing with a fire extinguisher is knowing when to use it or to not use it. Minimally, they have to be in the common area adjacent to the sleeping rooms. The goal of a smoke detector is to be as obnoxious as possible so that you get out of your room and, and respond to something that's going on. Yeah, I think the most important thing is, number one, to have them. Number two, to make sure they work. The landlord is responsible for making sure that you, when tenants move in, they have a working smoke detector. After that, tenants are responsible for maintaining that smoke detector. First of all, carbon monoxide, it, it's, a, it's a deadly gas. You can't see it, you can't smell it, and it's uh, produced from combustible products. So your stove top, your gas water heater, uh, any fossil fuel that's burned for heat or whatever other purposes will generate this. What happens is if there's a leak in the burner or the exhaust venting, then you get this CO that starts to build up in a house. Carbon monoxide is a gas and its, it's vapor density is 0 0.97. Air's vapor density is 1, so they weigh about the same. So it's not going to rise and it's not going to fall. If you're going to smoke, smoke outside. That's the, that's the best answer to the, to the question. Smoke outside. Make sure you have a non-combustible container to put the cigarette butt in. If you can smoke outside, you just have to be very cognizant of what you're doing when you're smoking.